Hey, it's Jim, and welcome to How Not to Draw, the series where I attempt to draw something new every episode, and it usually doesn't go well. My parole officer told me that expressing myself creatively might be the key to working out some of my aggressions that have often gone unfiltered by society. Now the problem is, I'm not an artist. I've never actually taken any art classes, and I've never received any sort of training on light, shadows, shading, coloring, or any of the big artistic whimsical things that they do. And when is not being good at something ever stop someone from putting something online? Now, as of this recording, it's the beginning of February, and that means a new Pretty Cure series has already aired. So I thought for my first episode, I will attempt to draw the new protagonist from the new Pretty Cure series. Oh no, that looks tough to draw. So that one turned out to look a little harder to draw than I'd originally anticipated. Who was the protagonist from Happiness Charge again? Oh, that's right. Well, that's going to take a lot less talent. For this episode, we're going to be using our standard non-artist tools of the trade. We've got a mechanical pencil, 0.5 millimeter lead, a sketchbook that I have no business owning, several sketching pencils that we'll use for shading work, but that requires work and effort, so I don't believe we'll be using these. A little pop-up eraser for mini mistakes, and real eraser for big mistakes. So we start out, as all great artists do, by drawing a circle. Now we just got to draw the rest of Cure Lovely. Now you might be asking yourself, which way do we want her to look, Jim? Which way is, where is her gaze going to be affixed? Well, I'll tell you where her gaze is going to be affixed. We're going to go ahead and, uh, put, all right, right there. I think that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. So she's going to be looking, like, apparently up and to the right. And then it means we'll just, you know, something like that. There, we've, we've just set our base work, I keep going off camera, but we've set our base work for what she's going to be looking at. It, she, it looks just like here lovely already. I like to draw other smaller circles for the eyes. That's always a good way to go about things. And we just kind of lay it on afterwards for the shape of the orbitals. Not the orbitals, the eyelashes is what I wanted to say. Listen, I am a science by trade, so naturally I'm going to call them orbitals instead because they're like little tiny electrons that we want to touch that up to make it look a little more like a little partner on the side there. That's balanced. Gone straight for the pupils, we are now giving her serial killer eyes. We're going to start to wonder, how do we want this face to be shaped? Are we going to arc it in slightly and then kind of come up from that? I mean, if we're giving her a sideways gaze, might as well... No, oh, no, 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 no. She presently has the cool, confident gaze of a serial killer waiting to stalk her next victim. Ears are a struggle. I admittedly had to go consult a reference for this one, but, you know, ears are varied and diverse. Everyone is different. I, that's, that's the arch enemy of my artistic process is the, the difference of people. We should always strive for diversity, but, you know... When it makes things harder to do, I shouldn't have to like it, and I don't. It looks a little big. Let's 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 cut that down, just a little bit. Let's slope it inward a little more. Give it a more feminine something, and also make her ears look enormous. Don't overthink it. This is art. It's not for thinking. Scrambling to erase mistakes, and in so doing, I am knocking down everything I own off of my shelves. So, I mean, that basically finishes the head, and, you know, I kind of want to stop here and end on a high note, but I am informed by my producers that people have more than just heads. I'm going to have to work on a body as well. So, when in doubt, draw shapes. Okay, where well, her gaze is going somewhere out, this, like, out of the paper this direction. So maybe the first shape we want to draw is just a little something to show that she is still facing in that direction. So let's, let's, just, oh, oh no. I am never going to openly mock the happiness charge design team ever again. Uh, I don't know, maybe she's leaning over a guardrail or something. Okay, going to try something. Got a little arm bending going on here. Going to try and put her hand on her hip. That way, maybe she doesn't look quite so uncomfortable, but it'll still be uncomfortable. Ah, uh, damn you, frills. I am in some kind of really stupid hell right now. Forgive me. Forgive me, Obachan, for I have sinned. And that sin 
is charging my happiness. All oh, arms. Just gonna look like noodles. Noodles of hatred. Ah, uh, solved my hand problem. Skirt is in the middle background between the pleats on skirt. Yep, see? There is additional pleat. Nailed it. Oh, pleated skirt. You do me an incredible service by existing. Ah, crap. Rough lines. So, gonna keep working on the whole skirt thing. Uh-uh. That arm is gonna be a problem. Should have drawn that out first. And then from there, you know, who's to even say I'm doing this right? This pleat is much wider than the others. Damn. Damn you pleated skirt. Maybe we weren't friends after all. Stupid cure lovely. Gotta rehem the stupid skirt. Fit the friggin' down to the fingertips or ah oh, damn it it's all one battle after another with you isn't it let's try something different let's just try and kind of make a basis for this shape and what the heck we need the little trimming there otherwise it doesn't count I'm losing it! Lose your damn mind drawing a magical girl. Like you're in some kind of hell. Then again, I am sort of the underworld's preeminent denizen. Let's try and... Okay, okay. There there might be something there. Ah, uh, why do we want the pleats? God damn it. Ugh. Play the angriest anyone's ever gotten drawing a magical girl, I swear to god. Well, the whole thing seems stiff, like she's made out of several logs that someone glued together. Very uncomfortable looking. Almost as uncomfortable as one would be if one were, say, a 14-year-old girl being drawn by a 24-year-old man. But hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers here. Let's try that. How are they going to cuff? She's got a little cuff on her boots, from what I recall. And again, she's facing this away, so... Gotta... Make those cuffs... Match up for how they're supposed to be. In the real world. You think you're uncomfortable watching me draw this? Imagine how uncomfortable it is to draw it. So I needed a quick reference for the boot cuffs, and I came onto this, and boy, I'm just waiting for the day when one of my neighbors walks by, looks in my window, and just all, should I call the police? I should probably call the police. Don't ask me how it works or why. This is just apparently something that needed clarifying. And the way it's drawn, I conveniently don't have to draw anybody's feet. Which is good, because I can't draw those. I can't. I will have none of that. I'm awful picky about this. For someone who is supposedly a non-creepy and fairly stable individual. Good enough. So this is the dessert after a hard-fought battle. Just put a little color onto the hair. You know, or at least the illusion of color. Just gonna add a little more there. Should probably erase that neckline. Cause that's where hair goes. Hair, only eyes can be seen through here. That's the rule of anime. It's the rule I try and stick to. Just the tiniest semblance of definition to the hair. And this is not a personal thing, I've checked. Yes, apparently you are required by law to draw Lovely's hair this long. That is... That is just how the upsetting design works. 
It really just looks like she's leaning against some kind of large cucumber. I don't know if you can see that. You can. But, uh, that's sort of what we're working with here. Oh, and then, of course, her little uniform. It's a little bit darker, too. Dark colored uniform for a pretty here. This is a half hearted attempt. Maybe I'll try a little harder next time. Then a bit I'll be drawing and I'll be drawing something more original next time, hopefully. Be able to use my creative talents as a little hair ornament. I drew it from this angle so that I wouldn't have to worry about the hair ornament, and then I just kinda threw it in there anyway. Alright. Well, that's passable. Oh good, I nailed it. The resemblance is uncanny. Well, thank you for joining me today on How Not to Draw. We've done a fantastic job. Once the light comes into focus. Yes, we've done a fantastic job with Cure Lovely right here. And I cannot wait until we get to draw again. So, um, until next time, I have been Jim. Uh, if you like this, let me know. This is kind of just a pilot and attempt to try something else. I'll have to see if I can, you know, make it funny or entertaining later on in different ways. But, you know, please comment if you want me to draw anything in particular, anything non tasteless or non-super offensive, and we'll see how that goes. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Draw other things, too. You can draw. I like drawing. Mm -hmm. I like drawing. Just not good at it. Any